All right, hey, what's up guys? So I've just been cranking out some videos here lately. I gotta take advantage of these weekends. And so this one comes by popular demand. A lot of people upgrade their wheels and tires. Specifically, uh, tires will uh, change the way your speedometer reads on your truck. Okay, and this is why I'm coming to you today to actually show y'all what I did in order to adjust my speedometer through Forescan in order to actually read correctly the speed, uh, make sure the odometer is right, even though like that can be a con, like, you know, depending on how, how long you keep the truck, uh, it could really help the value because your truck was never reading correctly based off of the tire size. But it was something that was important, important to me because I wanted to make sure uh, the speed that my truck was actually telling me was actually the speed that I was going so I don't have to rely on the GPS. Um, I also want an accurate uh, odometer as well as uh, the shift points based off of the speed of the truck. So I don't want to bullshit too much. I want to get straight into it because I know a lot of people are trying to do this to their truck. Force can, it's free. I'm not going to show you how, how to actually download it onto your computer, Windows, Mac, doesn't matter. There's plenty of videos out there. I will get into showing you what I did in order to uh, calibrate my truck without spending 200 or 250 on a hypertech or a rough country uh, calibrator. So just some background information before I actually get started into showing you on the computer what I did. Uh, my truck is a 2019 F-250. Uh, it came with, uh, it, it was the platinum, so it came with the 20 inch wheels. Um, the Michelin LTX AT2 tires, it has the 355 gears. And so a lot of my research that I was doing and I, I mean, I spent two, three weeks trying to figure out, hey, what is gonna actually work on this truck with Forescan? And believe me, there's a lot of like, you know, negatives, positives, it worked for me, didn't work for me. Uh, didn't I, I was reading nothing, but hey, it didn't work for me. Uh, and so I wanted to actually try something after a lot of research and this is the actual code that worked for me keep in mind that it is it is a 2019 and when i was reading up on everything it seemed like 2017s 2018s were a little easier they were more forgiving with the codes that you can put in uh and so this is why for 2019 owners it was a little more difficult with like hey it's it's just finicky but all right guys so this is my computer that i'm using this i'll go ahead and post the link in the description this works perfect for me I'm just going to plug it into the OBD2 port and then get into Forescan. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to vehicles. Sorry, I'm videotaping with one hand, operating the computer with the other. All right, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I made sure it was in the HS position. That is towards the right. Actually wrote down M and H. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up some Forescan research before you actually messing with this. All right, picked up the VIN. Everything is all right. Does your vehicle? Yes. It does have the switch. Please set HS MS to OK. Let me go ahead and make that switch. Boom. So this takes us to right here. This is where you want to be at. Configuration and programming. Where you want to go is actually the body cm model configuration as built format go ahead and press that press play all right now we're making some sausage press okay yes it is dangerous make sure you know what you're doing download your original file so if you jack up you can go back and uh, undo what you messed up again make sure you do your research before using this program but it's fairly simple really easy all right so what we're going to look for is actually 726 dash one two dash zero one so let's go ahead and scroll down that's where we are right here seven two six dash one two dash zero one so let me go ahead and bring it in and uh, what I always do before I make a change I write down the original uh, keys the original uh, formula so I would write down zero one six three so this one has changed. So let me take a step back. I have my little notebook. All right, and this is when I actually made the change. And this is why it took me so long to actually make this video is because I wanted to make sure I had thousands of miles to, to see if this code actually worked for me without any check engine lights. And uh, you know what? 6,000 miles later, no check engine lights. 
knock on wood. I need to go find some wood right now. Okay, so here's my original formula that I wrote, 0163-0 alpha 47-7166. All right, and the change that I made was I made it look like 0163-0 alpha alpha echo dash 7166 uh, and then after it made the change it these uh, last two numbers 66 turn into Charlie Delta or CD so as you can see 726-12-10 you got 0163 0 alpha alpha echo uh, and then you got 71 CD all right and that is exactly what it changed to so this is just how I monitor how I track uh, the changes that I make so after you make that change which is you know changing um, I believe it was the um, last two all right so I moved the zero alpha four seven to zero alpha alpha echo AE that was the change I wrote it all right and then it told me turn off your truck Give it about 45 seconds, a minute, turn it back on, and uh, I was good to go. All right, guys, so that was it. That is the only change I made for my 37s. The results were, was that when I was driving about 70 miles per hour, now this was, you know, registered, tracked by GPS, by Waze, Google Maps. Uh, when I was driving 70 miles per hour, my speedometer was actually showing, well, my speedometer was showing 70 miles per hour the real speed was 71 72 miles per hour i'm okay with that all right it's not going to be perfect um, but you know what i'm within one to two miles per hour of my actual speed even going 80 miles per hour it's 81 82 um, potentially jumps up you know for half a second to 83 miles per hour um, but this was a change that was at no cost to me four scans free i didn't have to pay 200 250 dollars um, this is an option. If you would like to try this, uh, feel free. I would highly recommend it before spending the money. Um, or if you want to spend the money, do you. You know. But this was just to inform you all who have asked a lot of questions. Hey, how are you driving your truck with 37s with a somewhat accurate speedometer? And this was the process that I took. So I hope I helped y'all out. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. I will be of help to you as much as I can. I answer all the comments. Uh, even the stupid ones, but I roll with them. Um, I really don't care. I'd like to hear from every one of y'all if this worked for you. If it didn't, um, there's a lot of forums that kind of helped me out, that'll help y'all out. But I figured I'd make a video to actually show y'all hands-on what I actually did that's working for me. So until next time, see ya.